So you want to learn how to share Netflix movies on Zoom to host virtual movie night watch parties. Well today I'm going to show you how to watch Netflix together in Zoom meeting with friends online. I'll also go over how to fix it when Zoom screen sharing is not working and your participants get a black screen while you're trying to share a movie. I'll show you this right after demonstrating how to watch Netflix together in Zoom. Let's get into it. So I'm going to run Netflix from my desktop and I'll have my iPhone and iPad as the devices that are watching the movie in Zoom together. First, of course, make sure that you have Zoom installed and why not make sure you have the latest version by clicking up here and checking for updates. Obviously, you'll need Zoom installed on your other devices also. I recommend that your participants download the native Zoom app on their device if they haven't already done so, as it will be more stable than them trying to view the movie in a meeting session, which was open via a clickable link. Next, we're gonna open up Netflix in Google Chrome as it seems to be the most stable web browser for sharing video in Zoom. So go ahead and log into your Netflix, then switch back to Zoom. Start a new meeting and have your friends join the meeting also. To do that, you can either copy the link here and email it to them, or you can just text them the meeting code and password. Then click share screen. You wanna make sure you click the checkbox for both share sound and optimize for video clip. Next, just click the Google Chrome window here and then click share. You can then navigate back to your Google Chrome window, choose your movie, press play, and you're good to go. Also go ahead here and click full screen in Chrome for the most uncluttered look for your participants. You can see here, looking at my other devices, that the movie is playing out nice and smooth and without lag. I've got the sound turned off on my devices for the purposes of this video so that there is no feedback loop. The cool thing here though is that you can turn off mute and still have conversations over the top of the movie playing if you're someone that likes to talk during movies. I for one really don't like that unless we're predicting what might happen next in the movie. This technique works for sharing Netflix, Amazon and other video platforms. I've got another video right here which details how to share any video in Zoom, whether that be from YouTube or a video from your hard drive or even Dropbox. So check that one out to find out a few extra tips and tricks with getting the best playback for sharing video on Zoom and without any lag whatsoever. There seems to be a lot of people having trouble with participants getting just a black screen or very choppy playback when someone is sharing a Netflix movie. So in a moment, I'll detail how to fix that with your Zoom and browser settings. But first, if you've learned something here today, it'd be great if you could smash that like button below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more useful videos just like this delivered to your inbox. By the way, if you wanna make software videos just like these, I've linked in the description below the eight pieces of equipment that I use to make these videos. So check them out there as well. Right, back to the problem that some people are encountering. You're sharing the Google Chrome browser window and Netflix, but when you click play, the recipient screens don't actually play the video and they just see a black screen. So there's two things that you need to do in order to fix this problem. The first is head over to your Google Chrome window, click settings, then type in the search field hardware. This setting will then pop up. And what you wanna do here is disable this. You'll then need to relaunch Chrome as well and then sign back into Netflix. Next, you need to go into Zoom settings, click video, then click advanced. Then you wanna deselect the enable hardware acceleration for receiving video box. Some people have different Zoom settings here, but what you wanna do is select anything that talks about enable hardware acceleration and deselect it. You can also head over to share screen settings, advanced, and deselect use hardware acceleration to optimize video sharing as well. It's a good idea to then close and restart Zoom just to make sure the changes to the settings have taken effect. So with those two settings adjusted, you can just go ahead and share screen again and play the Netflix movie and you'll see the playback commences on your recipient's devices as intended. Remember that there is a 40 minute time limit on your free Zoom account. Anytime there's more than two people in the meeting that is. So if you wanna play the whole movie with more than two people, you will need to end the meeting and then get your friends to rejoin the meeting again or you can just sign up for a pro account to stop this from happening altogether. Or if one of your friends has a pro account, you can just get them to start the meeting, make sure they've got screen sharing is enabled at their end for you as a recipient, then you can share the Netflix movie the way we've just described in this video. Watch this video next to see all the other ways to optimize sharing video in Zoom when using YouTube videos or videos from your hard drive or Dropbox. I guarantee it will help you with smooth playback with no lag. I'll see you there.